Hi YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronics, Design Stein Technologies. Well, here's our voltage output. This is two 12 volt lead acid batteries. Um, just want to give a quick once over. There's no wires connected from anywhere else. Let me move this. This is just electrical tape. That's a battery charger. The wires are just laying on the concrete floor. No external sources here, and we have between 117 and 119 volts output. What's happening is 12 volt batteries. Looks a little bit of a mess because I just finished. We have a capacitor bank, super capacitor bank at about 150 farads. Two 12 volt batteries. We have diodes in here, so this catches the back EMF that's coming from this drill motor. You see the diodes coming out, it feeds the bank, the bank dumps into the batteries, and of course, the voltage is remaining. Well, anyway, I have that powering the Gerard Morin style uh, washing machine drain pump, which goes into two motor run capacitors to give a, it's basically in and out of each of them, one for the hot, one for the common, um, and that is, uh, Creating radiant energy out of the AC voltage. Uh, it's like the Tesla hairpin circuit, except for the spark gap. There's not enough voltage to fire the spark gap. Um, still comes out the correct way. It's going into a 120 volt uh, outlet laying on the floor there and feeding into what I call my Helix device as well as a battery charger. Now, the battery charger, of course, is charging the two batteries here, and you'll see this other transformer. It connects over here to this outlet. It's a 120 volt to 12 volt AC transformer. If you look close, we have a rectifier right there, and the rectifier is rectifying to DC voltage. So uh, but we are maintaining voltage here. It's not going lower because what's happening is this is driving the Pellets device that I built. The Pellex device actually takes a, a very minimal input uh, wattage, like 5 to 7 watts, and it allows me to give enough output. Um, normally, nobody would be able to do this. Um, the battery charger would not remain on and charging. This is too much of a draw. This is in the, uh, the 10 amp mode right now, and just to get 10 amps at 120 volts is 1,200 watts. So, right here, we're charging... It's uh, very obvious because the voltage is remaining the same. These batteries wouldn't continue to, to operate here if this wasn't doing something miraculous. Um, I've showed in my other video with the kilowatt meters, which I'm skeptical of putting the kilowatt meters in line uh, with the hairpin circuit because I have a feeling that it'll burn them out or give a you know erroneous reading. But the speed that it's running at is giving me about a 165 hertz cycle. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build a, uh, a filter. Uh, it's basically an audio filter where we can limit anything below and anything above 60 hertz. We can filter out so the circuit becomes much more efficient and then you'll see a drastic gain in over unity. Um, the problem with these type of circuits and any other that gives the wrong frequency is that the other frequencies that are high um, have a very high amperage in any type of transistor or uh, any type of uh, sensitive circuit. So uh, we can limit that, bring it back down to 60 hertz, what they're designed for, and cut the rest of it out. The low, low frequencies below 60 hertz are what is deadening any circuit on a transformer. Um, they're, they're looking for a resonant frequency. They're designed for 60 hertz, and uh, without supplying a 60 hertz signal to them, you're, it's really not beneficial. But um, right now, and I've already done this, I just don't have enough outlets or big outlet strip right uh, present to fire any bulbs, but um, I can put a bank of, of 25, 30 light bulbs on here very easily. But I'm going to uh, remake this video after I neaten everything up, and then we're going to start testing with uh, other devices. But for the most part, this is a loop system. It is uh, running itself. Nothing would be staying at this voltage here. Um, this would be going down, down, down drastically um, if any other circuit would be running at the moment. There's just not enough 
ass into batteries here. There are seven amp hour batteries and uh, this should have already been dead. By running 1200, uh, 1200 watts, the conversion would be, let's see, we're going to do this here. Should be 100 amps. It's not even close to 100 amps being drawn off of those batteries. They would be stone dead by now. And like I said, here our voltage is still, it is remaining. Takes up to 119 still from 117 to 119. And this thing just keeps going and going and going for hours. So um, I have a lot of hits on my videos that uh, uh, people are interested. They want the diagrams. But unfortunately, the Pelix device is not up for grabs at the moment. Um, if we release this into society, a lot of people, uh, probably a billion people or close to it would lose their jobs in the energy business so um, if I do sell it it would probably be a version of this uh, which I'm, I have built to make LEDs much more efficient uh, my efficiency on LEDs that I'm obtaining is between 2,000 and 3,000 percent more efficient than the normal LED I presented this to LED manufacturers Philips and uh, Sylvania at the moment and nobody's responded to me they don't really think that I'm serious so I may just turn around and uh, sell this to a fuel company uh, to shelf it if uh, nobody takes me seriously. So but, um, it's not a million dollar invention, it's a billion dollar or more invention right here. It's called Pellix. And uh, this right here proves that it works. So anyway, everybody thanks for watching and um, uh, please submit what you think your theories are. Um, I, I don't think that... Uh, I'm showing something that's not possible. It's uh, I've already run this long enough, and this uh, motor has not become slower and slower. We don't have that much of, of amperage running on here, and it just keeps going and going and going. So, thanks for watching again. Have a good one.